Welcome back, guys, to Radiant Dawn. Ike's route leads his group to the west. He is accompanied by his old comrades, Deputy Commander Titania and Master Tactician Sorin. Also with him are Nyla, Queen of Hatari, the Heron Prince Raphael, Prince Kurth Naga of Goldor, and his loyal subject, Ina. Having received a warning from Micaiah about the Disciples of Order, Ike and company stay alert and wary as they cross into Celiora. So begins Chapter 1 of, well, Part 4, Road to the Empire. Amazing. We've been traveling for miles now, and there hasn't been a single moving person. And yet the other plants and animals seem completely unaffected. The only creatures turned to stone were Laguz and Bayork, a miracle of the goddess indeed. My sister just sent a warning about some disciples of order. Shera has freed them from stone to fight for her. She's also blessed their weapons and armor. They'll only get stronger as we approach the tower. They nearly bait, well, nearly beat Leanne's team. Worse, they can attack at any moment and we'd have no idea who or where they are. I'll start working on contingency plans. All right, we'll break here. Everyone, be sure to keep your weapons and supplies in reach tonight. You never know when you might come under attack. It seems instead of March, they're just being assaulted repeatedly. With that said, we look at our troops, because to be honest, it's not that easy for me to remember exactly who's got what at this point. Right, let's uh, give Dawn over, because Ragnell is the only weapon you could ever need now, Ike, now that you've promoted. I want to find out what happened to Soft Stats with the Luck as well by looking at him and investigating a little bit further, but now that we can use you again with Ragnell, it's gonna be amazing! Smash everyone! Destroy the world! And this is probably our more powerful army, considering its members here. I mean, we've got Boyd, we've got Titania, we've got Oscar, we've got Sorin. Super Sorin. I think we can go to war pretty easy with this group. Pretty easy indeed. And Mist as a level 13 cleric. You never know if she'll reach her third tier at this rate. Alright. So to be honest, I don't think we've got any item management to do, because everyone's kind of got something, apart from Raphael, who doesn't really need anything. We've got Heather there as a potential thief. Do wonder if there is anything to take for you here. Still dagger would be a good idea. And apart from that, I think everyone generally does have stuff to fight with. Apart from these guys, of course. But we can equip them if need to. But to be honest, they're going to be on my lower tier of units. There is no one we really require to pass on any special stuff at the moment. I do wonder if I can use like a Satori sign on these guys to get some special stuff. Capacity is only 35, but it seems there's only one skill on the list that can be put on. Really, it's just you to level up very shortly, isn't it? Do we have any Master Crowns currently? Because we may as well just knock you over into your next level up tier. I don't think we do. Let's do it. Let's very do it. Right then, so... It's time to get you promoted to your third tier, madame. And class change. A little bit of searching has got us what we wanted. Well, I do not know how many units we'll be able to use when we get to the end, in a sense. Because there are so many uh, good units spread across the army now. Now that we've got, like, the kingly and queenly Lagoos. It's probably going to go down to potentially only using one horse rider. So the competition's a little bit on between you and Oscar. Titania, you look so fancy on your horse, Deputy Commander. 
Very fancy indeed, Gold Knight. Everyone's a Gold Knight though. No, you're Silver Knight. Titania's a Gold Knight. A tear up on the list by the look of it. Well, everyone's kind of got stuff. The only other things to do is manage the possible Paragon that's around here on Mist. Maybe keep it on her for now. And apart from that, I don't think anyone else has Paragon, do they? And I can assign from Blossom still, so obviously things are still on the list for me to use. So that's kind of good. If Boyd's going to be frontline, then Boyd will take Daunt. He's got all the beautiful things, hasn't he, Boyd? Right then, time to check out the info before we do anything else, as we look at the appearances. Hmm. What's wrong with Prince Raphael? Are you feeling sick? No, I am alright. Thank you, though. You're a real puzzle, you know that? Why do you say that? You look a lot like your brother Rayson, but you're nothing like him. Rayson looks delicate, but on the inside he's all iron. You, on the other hand... I don't know. I worry that I might kill you if I shout too loud or something. I'm sorry. See? That's exactly what I mean! You should get mad at me for saying that, not say, I'm sorry! I mean, come on! I... I apologize. There you go again! What I mean is that... That's enough! Ike! Raphael is everything that heavens are expected to be. Quiet, elegant, and delicate. Those are words people use to describe herons, and he fits all three. Yeah, well, none of those words fit Rayson. True, maybe Princess Leanne is only so innocent and sweet because she was asleep for 20 years. Prince Rayson certainly doesn't seem to have any of the characteristics herons are known for. King Tiban did mention that real herons are more like Prince Raphael. Prince Rayson spent a long time in the care of the Hawk tribe. No doubt he's picked up all sorts of quirks. Thank goodness Raisin hasn't picked up Tiban's speech or mannerisms, though. He would be completely ridiculous. Can you imagine a man with Raisin's looks talking and acting like Tiban? I don't think I could help but laugh at him. Well, he told me he wanted to be just like King Tiban. He admires Tiban a great deal. Raisin said that? Yeah. What about you? Well, sure, it'd be nice to be a bit more like Tiban, I suppose. Well, it looks like you guys really are brothers after all. Ike, be quiet. You're a bad influence! I won't allow Raphael to be tainted like that. Someone likes her men a certain way. Someone reminds me of my relationship with my wife a little bit. Right, let's move on from there. I'm delicate like a flower. And talk about visions. Ike. What is it, Mist? Take a look at this! How odd. Looks like a holy crown, again? I had the strangest vision just now. There were these places on the ground which were shining. One was close, so I went to take a look and here it was! Stop it, you sound like you know when you talk like that. The enemy could attack at any time, so don't go wandering around here alone. Alright, you're the boss. Well, there's another holy crown. What's a holy crown, actually? Wait a second. For Mist only. Well, that's nice and all, but we kind of got some more stats to get it yet. So, uh... Let's chuck back the vulnerary. And keep it on her, I guess, with Paragon healing. Amy is next. Paragon, I'm probably better on someone else, but still. Oh, it's my hero, Ike. I'll take the spot next to you. Hello, Amy. Would you do me a favour? Take this and give it to little Sorin. It's an extremely rare item. We don't know what we'll run into out here. Be ready for anything with a powerful tome like this. What? You can't give it to him yourself? Oh, no way! I'm trying to get your attention, so I'd much rather give it to you. That's very direct of you. Because you can be so thick sometimes. I swear you wouldn't know how I felt if I didn't tell you outright. Even if I did, I wouldn't do anything about it. That's fine, I understand. You still have things you want to do, places you want to explore. That's why you don't want to be tied down by a relationship. I know how you are. Um, but someday you'll be ready to settle down. When you are, maybe you'll think of me. That's why I'm starting work on you now. Don't worry about it. For now. But it does worry me. See? You're already under my spell. Well, 
Good night. Sleep well, my hero. A woman has issues with reality. As we get Rexcalibur. Well, that's not to be on you, sir. Pass it on. We can take Tornado while we're at it. A Rexcalibur cannot be used at the moment with the very high hit chance there. Wind magic of the highest order, it is very effective against winged units, especially wyverns. To be honest, I haven't made any weapons yet either. Let's use Tornado for now. There we go. Let's just keep on leveling things up. Of course, we've given him weapon scrolls as well, so we can level up some other stuff. His wind shouldn't be that far from leveling anyway. His thunder's at an A. We could boost it to an S and use four on soon enough. Just by using the arm scroll now, for example, I think is one way of doing it. If I'm right. Yep. Pretty much. So Thorin's now usable. The Tornado is now going to be the main thing all the same. But Thorin's going to make him a nice switch when he faces any Dragon Knights. That's all good. And so the last bit of sorting out is to see if anyone along the way has any supports. Now neither is not supported to anyone. Which is a bit weird. So I'd have thought Raphael and her would have been supported by now. Maybe I only had them for a little bit, and during that time I didn't have the chance to. Oki has no one to support with, but other guys are still around. Astrid and Makalov are supported, aren't they? So that's more or less what we can do there. The last thing to do is check out the shop. And see if there's anything interesting. A Worm Slayer is kind of good. I'm sure Ragnell will just take everyone out all the same. And maybe that means that's what we're facing coming up. There's no one really who's going to use swords to do it, so with that said, we really do need to put like a sword on you though, because you can do swords now. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. We've got some extra money. It's a B rank sword, how dare you! Do we have any swords? Nothing. Well, isn't that a shame? We do have swords on other people, though. So we'll start leveling you up for that, I think, madam. As we get into battle once more. Let us go to the fighting. At last. That sorting of things is done. When will the enemy attack? That's what we wonder. Enna, how is Prince Kufnaga feeling? Not good. He keeps staring into space. He won't say anything, and he hasn't touched a bite of his food. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask him some questions, but he can wait. Ike, we're under attack! They've already surrounded us! What? That's impossible! Why does Soren look so calm? How could they get this close without us seeing them? I don't know. There was no sign or scent of their approach. I wonder if they simply materialized. Anna, stay here! Protect Kufnaga's tent at all costs. Understood. Everyone, watch the perimeter. There are lots of them, but just focus on one enemy at a time. We've got a perimeter though, so that's all good. It's just matters on the choose units and who we can get in. With that said, it doesn't look like we have anyone that's dead weight within here. We've got someone who can steal. And only Ike is forced, but to be honest, that looks like a good party to me. That looks perfectly fine. With well, that said, any repositioning we may need to do. But what we can see, we check for weaponry. And there's not much we can see, but there's a crossbow user there, so we'll use that to our advantage, or we'll use that knowledge to our advantage anyway. Strike is an SS. She can stay transformed at any time, which means she's going to be invincible on one side. Probably this one. Which way does this map stretch out to? Down below us? So the enemy's mainly going to be coming from that way, and we do wonder if they can climb or come from a direction on that side. 
No javelins there means, to be honest, I'm going to do some jiggly pokely. That should be fine. Everyone around should be fine. That looks good to me. Let's send Soren to attack a wall, I feel, and hope that no one has flying units, which we cannot see. Fight is the name of the game. Is it route or is it survive and defend? Route enemy it is. So let us get number one into position. So we can see two. We know you're going to be able to take that guy down no problem. So let's just do that. The ridiculously powerful Royal Lagoos. Rip their targets to shred. Now she's not getting much experience, which means, to be honest, we don't really want to be using it for that side. Maybe someone like Oscar, possibly. Right, we of course have Boyd that can just run up here, and we have Ridiculous Powered Ike. Who can just go to work and start destroying some of these with the ultimate prejudice. He can do this from range, but I'm going to put him into a more attackable position. Because now he can level. No damage whatsoever. Ragnail all day, every day. And that's what's basically going to continue on here. So we'll put Oscar over this way a little bit. We could always try to go for a critical here, but it's probably just better to equip the Steel Lance and wait. We've got Enna over here as well. No Kurf Naga, but we can of course do this as well just nuke down another one. Unfortunately, these guys seem to be fast enough, which is not what I want to hear, really. And even Foron does not have the critical chance to be able to wipe them out. So we'll just go to levelling up weapon skills, I think, then. We could get a second attack going on with Raphael over here, but it's not going to reach. Boyd, go. Break bags. Oh, that's a bad option. That's not what I want to see, if you know what I mean. Uh, really don't. Break that guy is what I want you to do. They break the bags and start flooding. Well, you're the same kind of guy as me, are you? Even with Daunt, he still attacked and still got his revenge. Major dislike, so maybe we'll just take him down. Or maybe we won't. Go on, Z-Hawk. Get a hit. Or just kill him. I only wanted you to get a hit because you'd get tons of experience with just a hit. If you want to get the kill, you can get the kill. Remember when I said I wanted Boyd that way? Well, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? So Tanya will have to go as well with Oscar. And I feel pretty much most of the other guys can kind of defend from this side. Oh, you're only an ally at the moment. Okay. You're just guarding the tent. I thought you were with us. And with that said, I can't get you any fur, but I can get you. And I can get a little bit of healing. With Paragon as well. Will it be a good level though? Well, it's more than three stats. Never bad. 
All that we can do is just leave everyone in interesting positions and watch as the enemies start to come forward, I think. Wonder what's in store for us or who's just hiding around the corner to attack us. Steel pole axe seems to do better than the silver axe here. So let's just do the damage with the support nearby. Titania, Golden Knight Battles. Counters a little bit with the counter ability. Probably better to put that on Void at the moment. And make sure that you guys can take the attacks. As the enemies move forward. To end the chapter. Or to end the episode is more to the point. Right, Bowman who's chosen not to attack the easier to attack Zeehawk. Well done on that decision. Now this is what I was expecting. Much enemy troops going for Nyla who can retaliate in range. Well, hit damage and crit. If you want to see a useless attack, that is one. And now no one's going to go for Ike. Don't worry, it's not like Boyd wants to crit back or anything. Ike it is. Will he be able to destroy them in one? No, he will not. In fact, he does stand a chance of actually getting hit. No abilities propped thus far. And the enemies continue their advance around us. Slow movers get smashed. Or at least a fair bit of damage. This is where Glare is going to come in here a bit. That's a lot of armoured troops. I see Raphael boosting up Titania. I mean, boosting up Mist. So that physic heals may fly all around the place at this point, but aha! Now the problems are here. We have flying units and they are coming. And people are breaking down our barriers. And healing up our enemies. Don't do that. We needed them mostly dead. Well, now they will come charging. How can we hold this? Find out next episode on Radiant Dawn as it looks like Soren has got himself an interesting task. Bye-bye.